Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and today we kind of have a cool one because we are working with this Acer C720 Chromebook and you can tell it's a Chromebook right there. There's a little Chrome icon except that unlike a normal Chromebook, this thing is running Windows 11. We're going to take a look at that right after a word from today's video sponsor. And I guess today I'm talking about the coldest water, which is the maker of some fantastic water bottles. This is the 32 ounce water bottle that has a built in straw. It's an insulated water bottle and it keeps your water cold for a long time. And the reason I know this, my other coldest water bottle, this blue one that you've seen before, I took this thing out on a golf course for 18 holes and I didn't put very much ice in it. And by the end of the 18 holes of golf, not only had it helped me actually improve my game in a literal sense, but there was still ice in this water bottle. It was like 80 degrees and sunny and this thing was just sitting in the cup holder of the golf cart. So these bottles are fantastic. In the links in the description down below, you'll find a discount code HH10 for 10% off your entire order, as well as a link to a rolling giveaway that the coldest water has. If you wanna just get a chance to get a free water bottle instead of actually purchasing one, regardless, more information in those links down below. They obviously have lots of different colors, lots of different sizes, so totally check these awesome water bottles out. So in the previous video featuring the Acer C720, which I'll put a card up uh, if you're interested in that video, I showed how to flash a custom firmware. Understand that video is for this model only and also understand there are a number of reasons not to actually go through with something like that. First and foremost, the keyboard on Chromebooks is a little bit different than a standard keyboard, so that could present some issues with other operating systems running on a Chromebook, but also understand there's a chance you could break your device by following those types of guides. Uh, so if something goes wrong, something changes, just understand you probably should use a machine you're not overly concerned with and B, definitely use a machine that is not mission critical. Uh, otherwise you could end up if something goes wrong or just you do something wrong you could end up with a brick device. So today's video on Windows 11 is not a tutorial for two main reasons. First and foremost, uh, I had to go with a workaround to bypass the uh, Microsoft TPM uh, requirement on Windows 11. And because I had to go through that workaround, I A, don't wanna be the uh, person sending out links to uh, potentially unsecured versions of Windows 11 and B, because I'm using a TPM workaround, I don't necessarily know that it's 100% secure. Anytime you're using a third party to get through these workarounds without actually having the technical knowledge yourself, there's always a chance of some security issues with that. So I don't wanna send you to something that could potentially be malicious. With all that in mind, not a tutorial. There are plenty of those online. If you're really interested in trying this out for yourself on a machine that is not uh, TPM enabled, then there are plenty of workarounds out there and I'm sure you can Google yourself into finding one of those. However, if you do have a machine that is TPM enabled and fully compatible with Windows 11, then the easiest way to get Windows 11 and by far the most secure and just the obvious way to do it is to join the Windows Insider program and you'll be able to actually run Windows 11 uh, from the official source and you'll do it uh, completely within the bounds of what Microsoft wants you to. With all that being said, let's get into the actual experience of running Windows 11 on this ancient Chromebook. Now the first thing to understand, this Chromebook is very underpowered and Chromebooks vary wildly on how much uh, power the actual CPUs inside them have as well as how much RAM they have. This particular model has a Haswell era dual core Celeron processor with a TDP of just 15 watts. So to say that it is underpowered by 2021 standards is probably a bit of an understatement. And to give you just a little bit of insight as to the experience you get from Windows 11 on such an underpowered machine, when I'm watching one of my own Hoosier hardware YouTube videos, at 1080p, it's barely able to do it and keep up. Like if you're doing anything else on the screen with the mouse, moving it around, clicking on things, then the video starts to stutter like crazy. However, if you're just watching a solid 1080p YouTube stream, then it seems to do okay with that. But as soon as you kick it up to 4K, absolutely a no-go. This machine is not running anything back at 4K resolution video-wise. It's just not happening. 
So you may be wondering why you would actually go through the process of installing Windows on an old Chromebook like this. And there are several different reasons out there, but the big one for me is program compatibility in that maybe you have some old programs that are just Windows only programs, or for most of you out there that may be looking into this as a potential option, this is a really good machine to run some very retro games. And when I say really retro games, I mean, if you have some really older games that you just need something that's mobile to run on, then actually this might not be a bad option. For instance, I booted up the HD version of Age of Empires 2, that'd be the 2013 release on Steam, and yeah, it was actually running just fine. Now, I fully suspect once you get deep into a game and there are hundreds of moving characters all over the map, then this machine probably would slow down a little bit, but just for some casual gaming of some very retro PC titles, you can actually get away with that on this machine. Though definitely budget out a ton of time for installing Steam and the games themselves because this thing took forever just to install like the first launch things that have to be installed by Steam the first time you boot into a game had a checklist of like seven of them and it took several minutes. It's very easy when you're constantly running a high-end gaming PC to forget slow machines exist and Chromebooks are slow to begin with because they run a very light operating system out of the box. And when you throw windows at them, ooh, some of them like this one can get very slow. And now just to talk a little bit about Windows 11, because I know it's been very polarizing since the developer preview has come out. I will say it did not crash whatsoever on this machine. So that's a plus. It seems to be at least reasonably stable. And I would also say I don't hate it as much as I thought I might. Some of the new icons are a nice uh, fresh coat of paint for Windows. I don't like the center alignment of the taskbar, but you can just change that to left align anyway. So that's absolutely not a big deal. And the explanation of it being for uh, mostly touchscreen enabled devices, I mean, yeah, that does make sense, especially reversible laptops that have a tablet mode. Yeah, that does kind of make sense. But I didn't hate Windows 11 and it seemed to run no worse than Windows 10 did on this particular machine in that they're both really slow and sluggish. So I guess par for the course. So that was a quick look at Windows 11 on a Chromebook. But of course, I do want to hear from you out there. Uh, is this something you're interested in doing with one of your old Chromebooks or even one of your older machines? Uh, just getting a Windows 11 fresh install on just so you can kind of dig around. What do you think of Windows 11? Just give me all of your thoughts on basically the universe in those comments down below. If you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment. All those things are extremely helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware. I'll see you guys in the next video.